In this video, we're going to go over how to create this world building transition. The first thing we want to do is go to our project settings and make sure our frame rate is synced up with what our frame rate is for our clip. So once you've imported your clip, turned it down and all that, you can uh, turn your proxy resolution and timeline proxy resolution down if you'd like. It could help with your uh, playback, make it less choppy and whatnot. At the very beginning of your clip, go ahead and go into Fusion, uh, and right click on the picture, click Save Image. Import that back into your project and trim it down at the front of your clip. You're going to want to go on into the Fusion page and uh, if you go on to Arrange Tools and if you click to Grid, it'll just make it easier to arrange your nodes. Basically, like what we're doing with this effect is we're going to be massing out each item in our frame, like in our shot here, one by one. So I'm going to take the gun, mask it out, I'm going to take the staircase, mask it out, I'm going to take this left wall, the right wall, everything in the thing one by one, and uh, the more individual items you mask out, the better the effect will look. First things first is we're going to want to go ahead and uh, duplicate the media in one node. If you connect the output of the media in one copy to your original media in one output, it'll automatically create a merge node, and uh, you can just go ahead and move that to the right. And then now that you have your media in one copy connected to a merge, you want to go ahead and add a polygon node right above that. And then just connect the polygon node to the green arrow uh, on the, uh, or the blue arrow, excuse me, on the media in one copy. I also forgot to add at the beginning that after the your original media in one node, you can go ahead and add a uh, blur node right after it and crank the blur all the way up or like halfway up. And that will just help you to uh, see what you're masking out as you do it and just kind of help you visualize it a little bit better. So if you go ahead and click on your polygon node again uh, and then go ahead and turn that off, you will see the blur returns uh, goes away. And so now we'll be able to see what we're going to mask out. The first thing that we're going to want to mask out here is going to be the our gun because that's the closest to us. I normally start for the closest object in the frame to the like camera and then move backwards. We're gonna begin with the gun, and then I'll do the stairs second, and I'll do the left wall here that's closest to us, and the right wall, probably that box behind it, and the uh, pipes with the ceiling, that far wall below the pipes, then that far archway, that far box, and then the little uh, outcropping where you can see the outside up there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and begin cropping these out here. I'll kind of go along with you as I crop out the gun, just so you can see what, how it works and everything. So you, you're gonna want to turn your proxy resolution back up to full, by the way, just so it's less pixelated and you can get a better uh, mask going. You're gonna want to be uh, pretty precise with this. You don't have to be perfect, but the more precise you are, the better it'll look. So just um, take your time, but don't take forever. This can take. You, you can take forever doing this. Okay, so once you're uh, done masking out the your gun and the hands, you just want to go ahead and connect the polygon at the end by uh, clicking where you started, and that'll just close it. And then if you go ahead and turn the polygon node back on, you'll see it blurs out the background, but the gun in our hands are not blurred out. So after you've done the first um, object here, you're gonna want to go ahead and um, copy all three of those nodes that you've made and then you can just paste it again over to the to beside it and then you want to go ahead and uh, disconnect the output from it reconnect it to what you've just uh, pasted and then connect the output of that to your first merge node that you made and that will then show up again on the output and you just want to go ahead to your second polygon node now the copy and reset the node that will just basically get rid of anything you've done with it and then you can turn it back off. This will allow you to see everything again. And then you can begin masking out your second uh, object. So I'm masking out the stairs here. Um, and yeah, you just wanna basically do that for every object in your scene. So I'll be right back after I'm done masking everything out. So one thing actually while we're, we're getting right into um, while we're doing the stairs here is that we'll see that the gun still shows up because obviously the gun is still in that part of the image so a way we can get rid of that is by um, right after our media in copy we can add a um, paint node 
So we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, second viewer window in the top right here. Then if you hit 1 on your keyboard while uh, selecting on the paint node, it'll bring that into the first viewer window. And basically we can just see what we're going to be doing with the paint node. So go ahead and turn up the uh, stroke duration to 1000 and then make sure we're on the clone tool. And then you can turn the size up a little bit um, to really whatever you'd like. Then you hold left alt and click anywhere on the staircase here or anywhere on what you're going to be duplicating and as you see it makes a little x there and that is just showing you what you're going to be uh, copying and then if you just go ahead and mouse one and drag over what you want to cover up you'll see it duplicates what we're dragging over with the x so the colors don't really match up as you can see but it's not really too big of a worry as long as you just make it as like, minimal as possible you'll be all good so then as you can see here the uh we got the gun all painted over and that way we'll be able to have the staircase come in and the gun come in separately without the gun coming in and then the gun coming in again with the staircase it just looks a little bit cleaner i also forgot to uh point out in the video that you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, name all of your merge nodes that you've created after the uh blur node at the bottom this will just help you later when we're editing the spline graphs to recognize what we're working on. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, actually add all of our items coming into the screen. So if you go ahead and select uh, your gun, the very first uh, one we worked on, make sure your playhead is set to the very beginning. And then you want to go ahead and drag the um, Y value down until it's off of the screen and then just go forward a few frames. I think I go about 15 frames in. Uh, I also forgot to say at the beginning when you're playing it to the start and you drag your weapon off the screen, make sure you set a keyframe with the, by clicking the little diamond icon beside with the Y value. And then when you go about 15 frames out or however far out you go, you just wanna go ahead and change the Y value back to 0.5 the default and that will bring it back onto the screen. And that will automatically create a keyframe as you do that. That will be the first rough draft, basically, of the uh, weapon coming in. And then you basically just want to repeat that process with all the merge nodes you've done. Um, and I would suggest starting with however many frames you do the first um, merge node, the first weapon coming in. Say you begin on, you have the weapon land on frame 10. The next one go out maybe five frames and do that one and then the next one five frames from that basically so they all come in a little bit after each other and that will help it kind of have that uh, building block effect so i'll be right back after we're done doing all the uh, merge nodes okay so i'm just finishing up the uh, last one here and you can see it's kind of coming together and so there we have it that's just without the um that's without any spline editing or anything done to it just very rough but that's the concept we're going for. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do here is in the top right, we're going to click on our spline editor. And once we've opened, once we've opened up the spline editor, we just want to go ahead and click on these three little dots in the top right, and uh, just click on Show Only Selected Tool. What we're going to want to go ahead and click on our first uh, merge node, and then you just want to drag over both of these uh, little lock icons, and then hit S on your keyboard, and that will smooth out both of these. Uh, uh, keyframes. If you take this top line and drag it out a little bit to the left, that will just uh, make the weapon come in a little bit quicker and then kind of smooth out as it gets there instead of just a linear like, instead of just a linear line where it just comes in and it's there. As you can see in the replay, it just makes it a lot smoother. And then so we're just going to go ahead and do this for all of our merge nodes here. Uh, you can go ahead and change these however you want. You don't have to copy exactly as I do it. As you can see in the second one here, I'm kind of changing the second length as well. This will just help add a little bit of randomness to it, make it not look so uniform. And okay, so the very last thing after we've done all of our spline editing is we can go ahead and lift up all of our uh, media in copy nodes here by just dragging over all of them and dragging up. Right after that, we can add a little border glow node uh, that I'll have in the description. And if you add this right after, it'll just add a little glow to the very edge of all of the cuts we've made. So we just go ahead and crank the uh, border size down a little bit, and then you can change the color to whatever you like. 
and this just kind of kind of adds a little final touch to it and it also gets rid of any uh, sharp corners you might have and so here we have our finished product i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below have a great day